Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. This is a uh, video I'm looking forward to making because I just received a package this evening from everyone's great friend, uh, Aaron Mutha Alamair. Uh, if you don't know Aaron, he is one of those guys that he, he puts a lot of thought into what he does, whether it's his videos, whether it's his um, background that he does in his music room, whether it's just the comments that he makes on all of our videos. Aaron's is one of the nicest people. I'm saying all the cliches that everybody's said about Aaron. Uh, <laughs> I, I received a package from Aaron and he told me he was sending me a package. Uh, he had mentioned a few artists. He was asking me through email and things. He's like, do you have this person on vinyl? Do you have this person on vinyl? But per Aaron, there is a big old box. And so this is more than just a couple of records. <laughs> So I'm excited to jump into this. I'm going to link Aaron's channel below, but you all know Aaron, so it's not going to get him any extra subscribers, but for the off chance that you don't know him, go over and say hello to Aaron from me. Aaron gave me a package a few months ago full of records, and I don't know how I'll ever repay him. Aaron has, it seems like he's got everything, so um, one of these days I am going to pay, pay him back for these records uh, in some form, so... Um, I'll have to figure out some things that I'm going to send his way at some point, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to ramble anymore. Let's see what Aaron sent me. This is very exciting. So, all right, cool. So the first off, uh, Aaron sent me, oh, very cool. This is a double CD set. However, it is the first six, uh, ZZ top albums. Very cool. I, I commented on one of Aaron's videos not realizing that he was a big ZZ Top fan, and I told him all I had was a greatest hits, and uh, I didn't expect this at all. So you've got ZZ Top's first album, uh, Rio Grande Mud, Tres Hombres, Fandango, Tejas, and El Loco. So you've got those early blues albums before they really went mainstream with Eliminator. So thank you, Aaron. Some ZZ Top, very cool. That'll go right at the very end of my record collection. All right, so here's some vinyls I see, and the first one, John Cougar, American Fool, uh, one of those famous 80s album covers. This is when John Mellencamp was John Cougar, which he hated being John Cougar. He still talks about it. But this is one of those huge albums. Um, you got Hurt So Good, Jack and Diane, uh, Hand to Hold On To, Danger List, Can You Take It, Thundering Hearts, China Girl, Close Enough, and Weakest Moments. So, very cool stuff. And... If Aaron's sending the records, I know that they're going to be in good playing shape. So thank you for that, Aaron. Wow, here's one. Uh, is this? It looks brand new. This is uh, Mellencamp, The Lonesome Jubilee. Now, John Mellencamp is a great songwriter. And uh, this has the hit Cherry Bomb on it. Um, and then most everything else, I don't really know. So this is from 1987. <laughs> Looks nearly mint, the cover on this thing. There's a little bit of ring wear at the top, but otherwise it looks pretty daggone perfect. So really filling up the John Mellencamp collection here. Oh, very cool. I have this on CD, but not on vinyl. So this is really, really great. This is the Scarecrow, uh, John Mellencamp, John Cougar Mellencamp. And, um... This is one of those early concept albums of his where he really started getting into like the, the whole farm movement, 1985. You have the big hit, Rain on the Scarecrow, Small Town is on this. Um, yeah, Rockin' the USA is on here. So, very, very cool. I'm really excited. This is, um, he's got Kenny Aronoff on the drums who played with him quite a bit. And let's see. Yeah, great looking stuff. So cool. Thank you, Aaron. You're really helping fill out uh, Mellencamp. And I'll, if you don't know Mellencamp, if you, or if you just think Mellencamp is Jack and Diane and Pink Houses, he's a lot more than that. Let's see here. What is this? The Idaho Sampler. Now this looks interesting. What could this be? I'm going to take it out. 
looks like it's some sort of uh, this. It's, okay, in the line on it, it says this album is a small representation of the um, many talented people in Idaho. So you have um, Steve Eaton, the Brown Brothers or Braun Brothers, John Hansen, Swank and Strickland. Uh, Kip Attaway, Belinda Bowler. Very cool. I know. Uh, I know Aaron is out that way in Idaho. So, um, thank you for giving me a representation of your state. I will be excited to hear that. And it looks like it's going to be uh, Americana based, just based on the album cover of the horse and the bridle. Oh, whoa! Very cool. Look at this. It's the first John Prine record. I don't have this on, on vinyl. Oh man, Aaron, that's awesome, man. So cool. A masterpiece of an album. It's essentially a greatest hit. So you've got Illegal Smile, Spanish Pipe Dream, Hello in There, Sam Stone, Paradise, Pretty Good. Then on side two, Your Flag Decal Won't Get You Into Heaven Anymore, Far From Me, Angel From Montgomery, Quiet Man, Donald and Lydia, Six O'Clock News, and then Flashback Blues. And then, of course, you have the famous liner notes written by none other than Chris Christopherson, who discovered, so to speak, John Prime. Thank you so much, buddy. And I snuck a peek here. Wow, this is, uh, this is sealed. This is a... Some sort of repress of... Uh, bruised orange very cool so you've got fish and whistle which is one of my favorites uh, there she goes again oh there she goes that's a good one um, that's the way the world goes round bruised orange Sabu visits the Twin Cities alone I do that a lot in my live streams crooked piece of time the hobo song really cool there's a picture of John he was in the army he said he mostly used the army to drink beer and play guitar. So very cool. This is um, 180 gram vinyl. The brand of a, one of the new repressings of it. Thank you so much. <laughs> I had a feeling this one would show up at some point from Aaron. This is one that uh, I've joked with him that I'm needing to get. This is his favorite Steve Earle album. And it's Glenn Kellaway's favorite as well, Washington Square Serenade. Limited edition colored vinyl from New West Records. I love New West Records. So very cool. I don't know anything about this album. Um, I think I know Oxycontin Blues. That's about it. And I don't know that one well. So very cool colored vinyl. I wonder, uh, wonder what color. And I can see, oh my word, so cool. The last one here. Traveling Wilburys Volume 1, the definitive album probably of my childhood, um, a, a masterpiece of an album. It's absolutely perfect. Not a weak moment on it. Uh, you've got Handle With Care, Last Night, Rattled, Dirty World, Not Alone Anymore, Congratulations, Heading for the Light, Margarita, Tweeter and the Monkey Man, and End of the Line. Just a brilliant album, and this looks like it's... Uh, an original so I don't know what to say Aaron man once again Aaron with Alamar he knows people better than we know ourselves so please go subscribe to his channel I'm gonna link him below he's the best love your brother you take care everybody be good talk to y'all real soon bye now